man, this how we. No, again. this is a madhouse in here tonight, man. We at the spot on the spot right now, man. We macking with McGlover, man. You know what I mean? We got everybody in the building, but we got a, a old face, but a familiar face, but a, right now looking like an old face, but. We got man, we got rock the ruler in here though, man. Who the fuck you calling old? I'm just saying, I just hit the face, not you. <laughs> Your face ain't got nothing to do with who you are, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I called you the 7-Eleven man. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just glad to be Mac, man. Man, what's up, man? Glad to be back, man. Glad to be back. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be had. Glad to be had. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? We were over here on a new show. I didn't even know this new show existed. What you got going on over here, man? Tell the people what's going on. Man, I'm just over here talking shit and swallowing spit, man. Interview on my man's right here. We, he just had a powerful interview, man. You walked in half ass on, but man, you'll catch it on the next one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Going around like this, saying next to rolling up a good one. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start back smoking swishers too with you, too, nigga. Nah, nigga, I, I enjoy having a blunt to myself. Yeah. I get to put it out yourself. halfway. Oh, man, this, hey, don't worry about my breath. <laughs> That's for the bitch too. Say man. my be, body is not your body. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I, you know what? I gotta feel bad for a bitch, man. When you trying to talk to her, nigga been drinking liquor and smoking weed and mm. nigga all Say that bitch be there taking it, nigga. Taking just, it. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I like you don't smell this shit, man, bitch. I know you smell this breath, bitch, because I just tasted now. it accidentally right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's smelling the leather on that fucking wallet. That's what she's smelling. Salute to the bitches that take the bad breath, nigga, and deal with this I, shit. I, I remember one time, man, a nigga was. Sweating a bra, man, on mama's nigga, and a bra was over there in pocket and shit. She had her head down and shit like that. He was sweating her, and so I got over there trying to give my two cake, and I smelled that nigga breath, bro. I was like, oh, nigga, so you win, nigga. You got the bitch. <laughs> you got her, nigga. Man. Go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> you do your man. thing, yeah, man. Shouts out to all the females, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep up the bad work. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, hey, a cold, that that's a cold line right you. there, man. That's a cold you line. Look at that bad work. <laughs> that's a cold little thing. You know what I'm talking about? What's going man? on, man? You bring some, uh, where you been? Where you, like, what the fuck? Where you been? <laughs> What are you talking yeah, bring to? Bring nothing. What you got? Yeah, you. Bring nothing? I walked in the rain, nigga. I brought my damn self. I am the present. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. But no, man, on the release, you know what I've been working on right now, man? I've been working on this new project, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's called Nobody Asked for This because, quite frankly and literally, nobody asked for it. I'm just doing it because I fucking can. But my, my whole thing is I'm I letting, like that. I'm my letting, sentiments exactly. <laughs> I'm letting motherfuckers know. Like, hey, my man. life, huh? I'm, I'm letting motherfuckers know. Like, hey, man, you know, there's a lot of game out here about putting out records. And so I want to use this project as a way to tell motherfuckers some game. Like, oh, hey, this is what you're not supposed to do. It's called Nobody Asked for This. Because you're not supposed to put a record out or an album out when you don't have no motherfucking fans. And guess what I don't got? Fans. No motherfucking hey, then, fans. Well, then you know what? Pull your shirt I'm off already, right now. I'm already rooting for you because I like a motherfucker who don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Zero. Like, like if, music if, if you at that point, you know Only. what I'm saying? Yeah. Only. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, man. You're going to come up with some of your best shit now, man. Oh, you? yeah. And it's like a song I mean, right here. He asked me what kind of music I do. I said all of it. On the reels, that's very true. You know, a lot of these beats I'm going to be putting out, a lot of these records are going to be the records that, like, maybe, like, you gave it to an artist, and it's, like, not quite my thing. And then some of the beats, some of these records are going to be are records that are kind of maybe some <laughs> artist kind of, kind of thing. But it's all an, all an experiment to let artists know about the information that's out there, about how you put together a record, how you put together a release, how do you do it? A lot of young young cats out here think that, you know, you just got to put some records out, put some records out, and people are just going to like it. It's going to blow up. It's not. It's going to brick. Learn how to deal with it. So you give them the game, you give them some knowledge, and then you can show them a way. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you know, that's what I've been working on the last couple of months, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back kicking it with the crew. L let me ask you this. How do you feel about... When you, you, you're producing, you're working with different artists and different personalities. How do you switch with one, uh, you know, with one vibe, with one artist one, to the next, you know? Um, for me, I don't. And the reason why I don't is because of what I bring to the table. You know, what I do, if I'm working with an artist who, want, who wants to work with me, they have to know what it is that I bring to the table. And if they know that, there is no switching up vibes and changing stuff up. It's like, hey, man, like, yo, you make the best cheeseburger. 
Just because a rich motherfucker walked up and wants a cheeseburger, are you going to change your cheeseburger? No. That rich motherfucker well, well, wants no, that's your not true. cheeseburger. That's not true. They alter the burger to what the customer wants. Nope. I'd, I mean, again, as a producer, I'd, you're always going to like make work with an artist, right? For, right? for what their thing is. But we're talking about switching it up and changing your thing. It's like, hey, what I do, my sound... My production work, my post-production work, what I do to make an artist really be be heard and seen, that's what I do. So if you come fuck with me, I'm talking to the artist like, bro, let me make you fucking hot right now. I'm going to make sure the baddest part of your song is the part that everyone wants to listen to throughout the fucking summer. So I got a question. If I fuck with you, man, do I got to worry about the producer being... All in the video. All in the camera. You don't want to worry about the executive being all in the video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, come to Sound Society because I want to be all in your shit yeah. at all, nigga. You do you, motherfucker. But the reality is that, like, yo. Hey, that was wine, right? Or was that real uh, Remy that you was pouring? Paul Massad, nigga. Ah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Ooh, that was just be a potty. <laughs> Beside, that's what why you putting out a beat tape? Huh? No, no, no. I'm actually putting together a, a project that's kind of a love letter to San Francisco and to, to, to my experience living there for a good seven, eight years. And so it's like I'm putting out a record kind of in line with some of the records that I like to listen to from, from, from other producers where they put out their sound and they bring on features to pop in and do their thing. Right, right. And that's what they do. Can, can I get on a, a track? Shit, nigga, you want to? I didn't already heard your rap. Shit, can man, I what rap, you trying to do? Can I rap on one of your... Can I be on your album? Style right now. I, nah, I'm, I'm on his side, man. Nah, bust the free side right now. I'm getting... Bust one. Give me a Pause. Beat, nigga. Give me a beat, nigga. You ain't saying that. Give you a beat. Give me a beat, nah, give you a rap. He nard, they nard, they nard. Give me a beat, nigga. 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 Give me Get I need a situation. Then Wayne said, I need a situation. Right <laughs> yeah. I, could, yeah. I need a producer. I need a producer. <laughs> man, what, what is you doing? Clips. Man, that's coming from Wayne, nigga. Ammo. Nigga, run with it. Nigga, that's what I'm Wayne. telling all these rappers coming through. It's like, bro, ammo. Because I'm drop some free style. Nigga, like, come yo, on, nigga. This mm. is the one thing now, that I'm Now, one of these niggas look like Lil Wayne. Okay. Okay, tell me that. We my name is McGlover. I am the best. All the DJs want to feel my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to coming to America. <laughs> hey, hey, get that sexual chocolate. Hey, hey, oh, so, hey, 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 let me ask you. What's well, Rob, when was the last time you had a home cooked meal? A good, wholesome home cooked meal. I make one about every day, bro. What are you talking about? Like you've been eating like uh, takeout. Puss and stuff. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what, what question is you I really just, ask? I'm just surprised, man. You didn't bring nothing. You didn't bring no weed. You didn't bring nothing. I didn't say you brought yourself, huh? I am the present. I am the gift. The prodigal oh, son has returned. Okay, well, here, said, break, break the weed down there, prodigal son. Oh, and <laughs> see, you see, he already putting me to work, but he won't, he won't even pass me the blunt too. Like he already For said. Real? That's why I'm. Hey, that's why I said break your weed down. <laughs> This nigga don't down. smoke no more swishes. I've enjoyed smoke smoking these blunts to the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to know, man. I got a question, man. <laughs> hey, it's yeah. the summertime, man. What niggas got going for the summer? Uh, uh, yeah, bitch. Trying, trying to get on a yacht. Trying to get on that yacht? I'm trying to get on some white yacht. Man, that sound like a plan but, right man. there. Y'all was doing it big I last summer. Running. All them nigga big like, boats and everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, a little boat. I literally so have no, got the big boat no skills in mm -hmm, doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I that One, uh, 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 who, who was drowning out there? Y'all about there? to say grown ass niggas can't bug, swim. Bud, was that Bud? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Shout out Bud, hey, man. Bud is drowning. Man. He was throwing niggas heat. <laughs> nah, <laughs> niggas Nah, we had to come back and save them dudes. It was MP. It was M. MP was spook. And then uh, JP was spooked. That nigga looked and, like a cat with a nigga falling in the water. Nigga 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 that the motherfucker. We had to save him. I ain't never saved a nigga with a life vest on. Man, that shit, that shit was different. Talking about life vest, man. Hey, <laughs> you niggas, different. man, you niggas got on with one of my life vests. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> hey, we was at STK. I don't know. 
Hey, did you have to come drop the nigga off or something like that, JP? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That nigga jumped on the boat with me, man. You know what I'm saying? He got stuck with you, too. <laughs> That's the night when Blue Rangers was out there, I think. That's when McGlover almost drowned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was the day before. Was it the day before? Because Hitman, uh, Hitman and all them oh, was yeah, out well, there. Oh, yeah, what is yeah, that nigga jumped in the water. I told him, I said, hey, man. I said, man, the water choppy. You know what I'm saying? Water I said, man, with all these boats. I said, man, go ahead and no jump vest. in the water. That, that nigga, nigga looked me at me. That nigga threw it right back at me. Yeah, that nigga threw me and threw it back at me. <laughs> and it's all kind his... of boats out there going fast, big waves and shit. <laughs> it's real when you get that first mouthful of water, you know it ain't a game, right? You be like, oh, shit. Oh. Trying to spit that bitch out. Man, that motherfucker was in the water. I like we forgot he was in the water. We sitting back talking about chicken and everything. All of a sudden, the homie with the man, the homie said, hey, man, what's up with the homie? That nigga just bounce up like a motherfucking, like a marlin. Nigga, <laughs> right on the boat. Like, <laughs> 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 shit, man, nigga, I said, I told your ass to I take a fucking breathe. life jacket and shit. It was yeah. too much. That shit cold as hell out there. It's beautiful out there, though. <laughs> man, it's beautiful, man. It looks nice out there, though. Ain't Who stay out there? Bill Gates? Yeah, all of you. He got a little, little island. He got that bitch? He got a little island. What bitch? The, bi- the, the wife. You talking about you talking little, about um Jeff Bezos? Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Oh, his his wife, man. Nah, Which she, one got the daughter with the nigga? Man, oh that's that's uh, that's, that's, Bill, that's Bill Gates. That's Bill, that's Bill Gates. A nigga yeah, she got fine in there? too. Huh? Hey. A nigga got in there? Yeah. Nigga, you ain't seen the picture? Look at oh, nah. this. Oh, I've been following her for man for a minute. Right? Ever since, like, since, ever since oh, I knew mama. she was down. Oh, Phoebe. Phoebe. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, Phoebe. Oh, like oh yeah. Phoebe Gates. Phoebe, I think, yeah. Phoebe Gates, I think you're an outstanding so woman and you're doing a, a, a philanthropist. We've so been in her you, inbox a you long are time. You are true philanthropist in the community. I can't get in her box, but I'm going to be in her box. <laughs> nah, man, respect that woman, bro. We don't Why? do that on here. I right here. Look, we don't her. do that on here. <laughs> you see, man, we've been friends for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga we follow each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we follow each other. I can get in action, huh? Nigga, no. <laughs> they must have did a background check or something like that because yeah, I show like, was on it. Nah. Like, uh-uh, get him out of oh, here. Oh, man, get him up out of here, you man. Process was, of elimination. You see what's on his record, Phoebe? Oh, you know, nigga, we would have had a kid so fast. Man. Nigga, cold nigga. You'd That's how on, you would play it? You'd have put her on child support? What, nigga, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, she's unstable. She That's can't. how you would play she's it? Not, you what, have understand. a kid with her? You, you got it. What else you going to play for? In that situation, nigga, you gotta go play for the kid. You don't play anything for the kid. other than that. You a boy toy. That's all you are. Okay, you, you know hey. what? You know what? I, hey, I was man. This on my mama. A female just told me. Female told me some cold shit. She was like, she was a Hispanic. She was telling her father, man. She's like, yeah, my father, whatever, wooty whoop. He, I said, how does she feel about you dating uh, other interracial? Oh, he just calls it a face. <laughs> I said, God damn. <laughs> So you think right now, Bill Gates, he's thinking the same thing. Oh, she's just going through a phase. You think it is a phase? I don't think he gives a fuck at all. Man, he, yeah, okay. That nigga got a nigga now. Zero. <laughs> okay, fucks. He he, man, he, he cares. Everybody cares. Think you he, ain't got no kids. That's why. That blood you know, you know, line, you know why I don't think he something. gives a fuck? Why you don't? Because I don't think he gives a fuck about women. He doesn't really value them that much. So he don't give a fuck who his daughter's fucking. Like, he doesn't give a fuck that we know who his daughter's fucking. He didn't already moved the fuck on because he didn't probably done some either, some, some wild Listen. shit. Like, he's, he's known for not so really being So you say he don't that. like women? I'm not, he, he doesn't respect women. I'm a, he doesn't give a shit. Man, I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to keep so it. So he honey. can buy a bitch. He has. Fuck he buying has, the bitch. He can buy a lot nigga, of bitches. Nigga, I don't want to hear none he can of that buy shit. Lot until you, he can buy until you have a kid, a kennel of bitches. Yeah, he, he can, can buy a litter of bitches. He can buy a litter of bitches. He can buy a bloodline. He can buy a person. Bitch. Until you have a kid, man. And he do. Until you have a daughter, you man, you ready to kill. So if you got a daughter... I don't give a fuck what 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 plateau. It's broke motherfuckers is going into penitentiary over their daughter. Yeah, for sure. I'm going out over my daughter. So man, I, I, don't, I don't I don't man. I'm, I'm be, hey, she man, she's fucking off the, the good Aryan blood. <laughs> yep. Oh my mind, and she looked like she went and got her a Nigerian too. The, the black good one. Aryan hey, he's blood. A, he's a fucking oh, yeah. He's a call it what it is. He didn't think about that. So you you think he not mad? He is one of the nigga billionaires. He's looking at his daughter be fucked. By this motherfucker right here, you're not this getting none of my money. She just stud. Yeah, this she nigga's fucking a stud. Way out of the fucking thing, man. He ain't don't no know little, I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? He hey, hey, he's Phoebe, mad. He fucking, he Phoebe putting, just fucked her way up out of all that money. I hope the dick, dick was that, worth it. He putting dick in that bitch. But he already uh, said. He, he already said he's not giving no money to the kids anyway. Yeah, let's so you if he, So if he says, I'm not giving no money to the kids, no way. 
The fuck he care who they he, fuck? Yeah, he got, it's because he's giving it to his mistress. That man. nigga got a, that nigga got a, a Nigerian daddy scammer. That nigga daddy a scammer. Oh, probably. They, hey, they gonna be Tell at the wedding, nigga. Yeah, daddy nigga is giving that nigga bro. gay. Nigga, they gonna be at the wedding and hella, Son, you hella, have, hella colorful, hella colorful You have made suits. our pro- <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nigga, <laughs> they, they gonna oh nigga the whole friend nigga the whole fucking village is coming nigga to that motherfucking thing. They finna build statues of that black ass nigga. Huh? Nah, but that don't mean shit. Nigga, I, I mean, was, actually, if I was it, fucking Phoebe, I'd be at Harvard kinda, right now. It, it going Man. to Stanford kind of does mean something. He is probably the squarest of squares niggas. Would ever. you like to go to Stanford, Barack? Fuck no. Yo, I, I I worked in Tech in the Bay, so like, I I worked with all the niggas who came out of Stanford. They're fucking obnoxious and delusional. There's nothing more annoying than obnoxious delusional people. I don't mind delusional. I'm delusional. Half this room is probably delusional. Hey, I was looking at some don't film the, don't the other day of you, though. Barack. Hold on. I was looking at some film the other day of you. What kind of film? And you said that you was a running back. It was a, it, it was interviewing somebody. Okay, first of all, I have no idea what and, she's talking about. You, I ain't never been on you know, film. It was I ain't never film. been nowhere. No. First of all, we, we were working. I was we wearing working. a mask. That wasn't me. <laughs> all right? I don't even know what you're back. talking about. Nigga, that right. nigga whole high school football team was gay. <laughs> right. They were. <laughs> nigga, I'm not getting up over wait, that wait. shit. Them niggas was gay as fuck. <laughs> we only that episode alone. <laughs> just, no, I'm, I'm, I will never. I, I, oh, I like, want to know, like do you still no. have the footwork? Right, man. No. Please, you still bro. got the footwork? Nigga, I have 33-year-old knees. No. Them young knees, bro. Hold you on. call them young knees. I'm calling them these 33's knees. Thirty-three still young. These knees have survived raids. What have those? If, if those knees I can can't, talk, yeah. if these knees can talk, I'm no, 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 bro. I'm I'm lucky. If I'm this fucking size, bro. I'm 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 good. I don't do none of that shit no more. You know, what I'm yeah. saying? you know. Man, we'll but if I we had all gotta get to? our life together one way or another, bro. I'm, I'm happy for you. Either if way, I man. had to. If I had to, you're not gonna catch me. Catch you what? Run it? You're not gonna catch me. Catch you what you mean? I think you're, you're not probably gonna catch fast me. too. I am fast. I you're think not gonna you got me. the speed. I got the speed. You're not gonna catch me. Because here's I don't the thing. Believe it. Nah. Here's you, the thing. You ain't fast. I am. You, hit the hole, you, you look like man. Hey, hey, you look like man. The 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 the, the sugar the sugar gram bear and shit like that. Look, first of all, get good enough for that good with Chris. I can't. I don't see it. Hey, this now, nigga retarded. A lot of, I see a lot of <laughs> shit. Lot of hey, 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 hey. Man. The fact that you don't see it is my superpower. Funny nigga, man. Because you're not going to see it coming. That's what she said. <laughs> I had to do That's it. what sorry. she said. I didn't say that. I, I mumbled it. You maybe about as direction. slow as that joke. Show me a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> what she look like? Let oh, me see. Man. That nigga said he fast. I don't believe. I'll damn the to bet you. <laughs> <laughs> How much you bet that nigga? He fast. I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Shane, you want to make a quick hundred? <laughs> Yeah. He said, yeah. Hey, look. Yeah, walk him down. Huh? It's, like I said, <laughs> it's like a play in football. After about 20 seconds, it never all leaves over, you, right? No, because here's the thing, bro. <laughs> because I don't. I don't deal in, in a world where I gotta like even like use those skills anymore. So I just be like, yeah, I don't really care. But like, you know what I'm saying? If I got to, if I gotta make a move, I gotta make a move. But at this point in life, bro, I don't even wear the kind of shoes where I gotta run. You can kill a motherfucker with one touch, huh? No, no, no. No. Call you Steven Seagal and shit like that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to be like that one day. I'm going to be like grabbing the gun like, ah. Ah, Tell like, me, when did you acquire these powers? Like, ah, <laughs> you sitting over here hitch in the neck like, ah. Hey, we yeah. laughing about that shit, nigga, but it's a grown man right now getting ready to pay 3000 to go to Comic-Con. Yeah. Did you go this year? Ah, oh, nigga, fuck. Hey, don't let him. Hey, hit him back. I went one year. He looked at me, and I'm looking at like, is he looking at me? Man, at hey, I didn't even set you up for the alley on that one. I've been one year. Ain't nothing wrong going to Comic Con. I just never been. <laughs> they be in there too. Hell yeah. They be you in can there. find some girls in there. I know there. it's like a motherfucker. I don't know. There's some girls in don't, there. Listen, that listen, will listen, do don't listen. Don't let Mr. Wearing Banks manipulate your, your your answers, bro. I'm asking you clear answers. Don't let him. I ain't never been to Comic Con. But how you know you never been to Comic Con? Never been there because I'm a nerd. Tell him you some pimp. I fuck you with other them. nerds. <laughs> Nigga, nerds go to Comic Con. Yes, I know. So wouldn't you be there by default? No, because it costs money. I don't have. You can sneak in that motherfucker. 
can't I'm a nigga. Head, I can't bro. sneak in that motherfucker. Yeah, you see, you I think he could. Rob can sneak in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not sneaking in that motherfucker. The colorism continues. You damn right it does. Damn, that was a I'm shot. A, it's, like, it's like a shame to sneak in that motherfucker. And it's like a weird colorism because he's like, like he almost looks more black than you, kind of. Like the the, the I'll attitude, take that as a compliment. the attitude. Kind of. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. That's funny. Like, I'm gonna take that. He, like, he, like, he like, 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 I don't it's know. The tape. He, he does. The tapers, oh, the tape, that nigga taper nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, oh, yeah, that nigga, that nigga taper nice. All you need you know to do is mean? a little bit of the bowl cut. You look like you're getting ready to kill murder a fucking school or some shit. Say, my nigga called him Habu. <laughs> 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 I fucked up. Not that nigga nigga, man. Say, no, that nigga was hey, tech. Dude. Doing some kind of tech. You got a black shock on. You got on, I don't know, what the fuck. <laughs> That's a nigga. That's, over man. That's a nigga, man. You know man. Yeah. We a show full of, man, y'all done talking about but you know, we just but, made. Hey, but see, that's the thing, though, bro. I embrace this shit, bro. Okay, look, when you a square nigga, you gotta embrace <laughs> being square. Because when you're square, you can have real conversations with other square. Though. Don't give it away, man. Don't tell everybody. Yeah, I know, but it's the oh, thing. You, you, you can't tell anybody that will it's sniff my cocaine thing. off a bitch asshole is not square. Oh, you're different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, you're first different. Of all, square. First of all. I told you that in confidence. We can't tell people about these kind of things. It's gonna throw off my marketing strategy because I'm trying to make everybody like think off the that I'm an intellectual. I, like, I know. Like, I was like, 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 what do you mean? Me. When, they, I hear that, <laughs> when I hear stories like that, I'll be like, what do you mean? Like off her ass or like her asshole? Like, what, like, what do you? Both, nigga. But that's not the point. So, <laughs> see what you do. You know the straws that bend. Yeah. Okay, so. What'd and you, you do, do you that? Had bitch, you had a bitch put her asshole in the thing, right? Yeah. You put a little bit on her pearl tongue that's going to make her shit numb. Okay. You feel I me? got so that you part. you put on her numb and shit like that, her asshole is right there. You sprinkle a little bit right there. Now you spit in her asshole as you, at the same time. You feel me? And then you that's blow it back up work. in the thing, man. So her asshole cavity is more open. So when you it spit was, the group that you done... It's, it gets in her shit. She gets hot in the It was a scene in the Wolf of Wall Street Jesus. in the very beginning. When we'll have the up her ass. Coming, uh, look in the link below. He'll have a, a, a description. A diagram. Every, yeah, a diagram. <laughs> it's going to be a step by step instruction yeah. manual. Yeah. Because How's we got to look. We have to make sure that we are educating the other niggas the out there on how to, you know what I'm saying? You the gotta, youth. You got to understand, yeah. you know, they're safe. Nah, that's the they can't, that's, the youth can't like do that. That's like a whole telling a pimp, man, she love him. Mm. It gets deep. Mamas. They do love him, though. No, she don't. I mean, at some point they do. It, it ain't even no no point. It just it, it ain't even no point. <laughs> it's just she might not be no point. It's hey. up to the listener to believe it or not. Well, at the same mm. time, you know, she beauty's she in the the ear of the beholder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, she listens. Hey. Love is in the ear of the beholder. Hey, man, come on, her parents raised her. She didn't listen to them. Yeah, she don't listen to nobody. Shouts out to all my motherfucking you know saying renegades. <laughs> Keep up the bad work. Yeah. Hey, the bad there's work. no rest with the wicked. Keep that shit pushing. Shouts out to all my independent sisters. Yeah. Stay lonely. Get <laughs> your knees on Ultimas and shit. Shouts out to all my sisters, man, saving all their money to get the BBL. <laughs> <laughs> Stay getting fucked on on the weekend. <laughs> Stay being a side bitch. Yeah. yeah. Side oh, bitch man. nation out there. Man, I promise you, boy. Every man, every bit, boy, it's an epidemic. Every side bitch want a BBL. Side bitches. I don't got nothing wrong. Side bitches is cool. You like that shit, Rob? What? The BBLs? Yeah. Eh, I'm it, not. You ain't anti it all the way. Nah, but nah, just, nah, 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 nah. You could do it out. If you look it. good, you look good. It just can't look crazy. Yeah. Like, they be going crazy with it. Hey. But I seen Black China just got all her shit taken out. Eight years ago? Yep. She just thought she was going to be rich. With a bitch with a BBL? With a, with a bitch that had a BBL. That was like something big. Oh, yeah, man. That bitch that got titties, man. Big. I just bought them titties, man. Nigga, that was <laughs> big. <laughs> yeah, man. I just bought that bitch ass, Why man. you think? Yeah, man. <laughs> that ain't nothing now, nigga. Oh, hey, I can't stand these weird ass <laughs> niggas. There's something, though. These bitches should be fucked up out there. Yeah. Man. They don't you realize look, that man. they look fucked up. Like, it's not. It doesn't, they got to work out. Well, I mean, on the reals, bro. Like, yo, look. If I'm fucking with it, it ain't shit. And she's going over here doing all this extra shit. Like, yo, honey, you got a fucking problem. You need to go get some fucking therapy or some shit. You look fucking weird. It's not attractive. It was never attractive. Barack, you get a bitch from the South, she gonna tell you what to do with forever, nigga. <laughs> I don't she give gonna, a fuck. Like, yo, I'm gonna... sitting back like, yo, I'm listening to some of these motherfuckers talking that shit. Like, yo, that bitch gonna you're tell weird. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a fucking weirdo. Have you ever paid for, for someone's titties or anything like that? Yeah. How'd that go? 
<laughs> go go so. revert back to rewind. <laughs> The yeah. hoe that told you she loved you. Mm. She still, she still, bitch, so she still got it. Every the woman that ever told no, you me gotta love take them when you guys split up. You gotta take them. You can't take them. <laughs> you can't you, they, you know they just, say Ice T got a clause on on Coco uh -huh. with them titties. If she leaves, they divorce. He can take half the money. He made it. I, he built. He made the brand. He built the brand. He built the brand. Yeah. So I can see that. But I mean, if you just buying a regular bitch some goddamn titties, it's like man. Shout out Ice T. Shout out all the bitches I bought titties for. Shout out Hello. them bitches too. Where them hey, bitches at? Sag in peace. Shout out to the Imperial. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you can afford the upkeep. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 man. You know you got to get them redone, bitch. <laughs> save, at that point, it's like, yo, it's like, yo, so yo, lady, yo, save your house shoes. now. All right, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? All right, I just got the kitchen redone. The bathroom just got redone, you know what I'm saying? Near a house. How was your cat doing? It's a wild transition. I'm gonna pass you the blood on that one. You know, I'll be random. <laughs> How is the cat doing? Is he still alive? At least he didn't ask you what ice cream you like. Right. Hey. So, yeah, you the little the motherfucker questions. walked in the room at 5.30 in the morning and meowed for five seconds straight and count five seconds out in your brain. It's not that short. And then walked away. He's alive. I still love the little motherfucker. I had to pick the little nigga up last week because he was fucking with me. But you know what I'm saying? You know, he's still alive. You know what That's I'm saying? Cool. They be calling him nigga and shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga gonna get Cat's beat up by Peter. Peter. He thinks his name is nigga or dude or boy. You ain't hearing me, man. You about to get beat up by Peter. Man, you talking about holding up a fucking cat and shit? Peter don't care crazy. no more. They care. First Peter of all, get the tripping. Some, they got to the tripping. Hey, post the wrong Sometimes yeah. you gotta <laughs> pick yeah. your yeah. cat yeah. Proper, huh? up. Like, yo, bro, he's been stalking the motherfucking neighbor mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's an annoying pussy, but you know what I'm saying? He, he he makes sure that I don't like hurt the neighbors. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important thing is making sure I don't go crazy. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how the cat's going, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's cool. I didn't mean to interrupt what you were saying. I just just popped up. How's the cat? It's not about the cat. It's not about the cat? No, I said I thought about the cat. You had oh, you just did? posted him. Yeah, he had just oh, posted yeah. him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I see That's him. cool. What's his name? Mr. Jingles or something? Nah. Dude. Dude. I can dig it. Because I get drunk and shit. Be like, dude, man, get the fuck up out the way or some shit, bro. And he just be like. Hey, I'll bet your cat can fuck his dog up. Oh, of course. You seen his dog? Hey, I <laughs> have. And this reason why I, get, I left my cat his balls. Just, cause, just because, because like when someone comes to the door. Yeah, my dog's still, he not neutered either. Yeah, you know, he runs up to the door like, yo, who's coming to the door? And I'm like, exactly. That's what you need to do because I don't have a security system and you're all I got. And if you run, we're fucked. I'm finna start breeding fighting chihuahuas. Fighting chihuahuas. Don't they already? High temperament. Oh, I'm nah, so, I'm they so, all got high temperament. I'm so fucking tired of you fucking dog breed. You dog breed? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, man. Frenchies. Everybody got dogs. <laughs> man, <laughs> man. It's the new trend. <laughs> oh, it's like a trend. Everybody. Nigga, I just, I just had some nigga, man. I was a man. I was I'm in L.A. My nigga just tried to sell me, though, tried to sell me some dogs. And, and looked at me <laughs> retarded because I told him, I said, nah. I, I'm like, well, if I get a dog for you, I just want a dog. That nigga looked at me like, Shane, you want one? I'm gonna get Shane one for free. <laughs> that nigga French poodle. <laughs> nah, French fighting poodle. chihuahuas, nigga. That shit gonna be half raccoon by the time you get it. When you taking them pimp naps in your car and you need somebody to wake you up, Wait, nigga, that, that chihuahua gonna... Yo, you need somebody this. come to that car, nigga. And, rah, 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 rah. You don't need hey, to you explain to me what the fuck a pimp nap is. You know is. what a motherfucker don't see no more? <laughs> niggas don't <laughs> fuck with, don't niggas don't fuck with pigeons. Man, that's niggas just start pigeons. getting back into it. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, West Mine Exotics. Pigeons? You supposed to eat yeah, pigeons. Yeah, they've been, they been uh, the fucking They old pigeons. school, man. Yeah. On my mama. Like nobody just... don't, man. I be, I be tripping. Like damn, nobody fuck with pigeons. Cause you're supposed Roll to eat them. Pigeons. Just eat them. I don't understand. Like, well, I know some niggas. It wouldn't last too long out here. All these eagles, all these eagles and shit. They nigga, they're not going down. You eat a pigeon? I'm not saying I would eat a pigeon. They're a delicacy in Egypt. You're supposed to eat pigeons. Delicacy. Just delicacy. Apparently they taste fucking great. <laughs> Motherfuckers yeah. sitting around here over here clapping and shit, making them do whatever. Like, it's no, you're supposed, be hella, to, you're supposed to be eating them motherfuckers. It's going to be hella, hella bitches from New York, nigga, in the comments since you're talking about you eating pigeons and birds. <laughs> I'm just saying you should eat the pigeons. I've never eaten a pigeon. It doesn't mean that I just, I, fuck it, I'm going to eat the pigeons. Are so. you voting for the uh, next presidency, Barack? 
You've met you can, me. You can vote, can't you? You ain't got no. Yeah, problem. you've met me. You already know. You already. Nigga, you vote. Nigga, they vote. Nigga, niggas, man. Everybody can vote now. Yeah. Yeah, you can vote as many times as you want now. You can just go back and back and back and. Yeah, you want to vote? The, corner the people's shit. got hung for it, man. Right. Y'all niggas ain't want to vote. My people was with the white folks. I did my genealogy report. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I knew I smell you, fucking traitor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I didn't want you. We own we niggas too. <laughs> nigga, we, we, we know, nigga. We know, nigga. Glover, nigga. On my was, nigga. I'm waiting for you. We never liked you, nigga. No, yeah. I'm waiting for you to man mm-hmm. to, to tap into your Celtic pride, nigga. Show up in a dress, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. Show up in a kilt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Been playing bagpipes. Yeah, we playing bagpipes. That's so real. Nigga, let me get some of that land out there, Basically, nigga. You I'll show up. You, you can, man, right now, nigga, for like forty nine ninety five, nigga. You can go send off, and they'll give you a little. <laughs> a little piece of fucking dirt, nigga, in Scotland to call yourself Lord. Yep. Which, oh to be honest, God. not a bad idea. That sounds like a good deal. Not yeah. gonna, it's the truth. It's just yeah, well, it's you true. can send forty dollars to Scotland hey, for gonna, one square foot. They gonna give you a square foot and hey, call you man. the and hey, call you, you the Lord of that area. Oh, yeah. if, 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 own, if, if, if you call on any property they in call you Lord. fucking Scotland. You're supposed to be addressed as Lord or Lordis or some fucking shit. Yeah, lady. There you go. Lady, they they don't they don't mind financial crimes over there. So you know what I'm saying? And nigga, you might nigga go over there, go send them niggas forty nine dollars, nigga. Yeah. To some Nigerians, nigga, that's gonna send you some dirt from Africa. Yeah. Tell you, you somebody's you got a pile of land about the table about the size of this table, and you can buy a foot of it for forty nine bucks. <laughs> Hey, it's a scam on top of a scam. What's the man? most you paid for pussy, Barack? I never paid for no pussy. Never? You never had to, huh? I mean, you know. He got a strong pimp hand? No, 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 no. a strong nah. jack off hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to understand, bro. When you broke and you be sitting back like, yo, uh, let me add a woman to that. Would you ever pay for pussy? Would you ever pay for pussy? Uh, what you mean? Pay, ask him what, pay for pussy like what? I'm asking you, nigga. Would you ever pay yeah, for pussy? Yeah, I already answered the okay, question. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, you would? No, no, no. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah or no. Which <laughs> one? I want to know, nigga. What do you yeah. mean no? pay for pussy? Nigga, pay for it. Credit pay card, ACH transfer. Are we talking about uh, money? You know the nigga that want to get the Are we talking about money? Maybe go to a shop. Excuse me. 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 There you go. If you, gave a, if you gave a woman any part of your time, nigga, you paid for pussy. I didn't went to jail. Because you can't, yeah. you can't never buy time. But here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. What if you was just chilling? Like, what if oh, I was yeah. already right here chilling with this time? You had it amongst yourself or amongst your family. I ain't. But there on last thing, though, what because if, like, <laughs> cause that's like a thin <laughs> definition. Like, I'm not even saying that I disagree with that. I'm just saying, though. What? What you saying? If that's your definition of paying for pussy... You're paying for so many things that at a certain point it's just like, yo, it's like kind of being in a lifelong gangbang. What's one more dick? The fucking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, look, you true? are a hoe if you have a nine to five job by that definition. You are giving up your ass for 15 bucks an hour. So you already a hoe over here. Nobody, you made, for nobody pussy. made you be a hoe. You, you right? a John over here. At some point, it's just like, yo, at what point is life just life? But you made yourself be a hoe. Nobody, just because the job was there, nobody, you know what I'm saying? If you worked for 15, nobody made you. Hey, if you the was, average it, person. Hey, you if you was a rapper, you was a hoe. If you was an artist, you was a hoe. If you was a mixing engineer, you was a hoe. Tell them, if you a pimp, you a hoe. Exactly. You're all, everybody is a hoe to somebody at some point. If your definition of paying for pussy is, I wanted to go to the movies. I bought you a ticket to the movies. Maybe you'll have sex with me today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Who the fuck knows? At that point, by that definition, you have paid for pussy if she gives it up. So all I'm saying is, is can it just be life? Yeah, so what's the most would you pay for some puss? Uh, it depends. How much money do I have in my bank account? You ever fuck the bitch just to use her car? No, you I can't drive. drive. You have one? I, don't, I can't. Yes. I don't drive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I it is I'm saying I if, if you, you wasn't brought up like under them rules and I be feeling if you wasn't brought up under them rules and circumstance, you just won't get it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you also use have your to have a driver's for license. Transportation so. to get here, shelter mm, when the so. nights get cold. Say, you ain't got yeah. nothing to eat. And the bitch got chicken wings on three in the morning. Okay, first of all, chicken you know wings, I mean? different conversation. Yeah. Hey, 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 and what's the bait? What you gonna tell her? It's three o'clock in the morning. How you gonna get them chicken wings? I don't mind some chicken wings. Huh? What's the line you gonna feed her? Are you the hoe in that situation, or are you the John? Are you the like, hungry nigga? I'm a hungry <laughs> nigga, and I'm sleepy, because I ain't came up with a bitch that night or something or whatever. I can't go, you know what I mean? Just being a young nigga, you know what I mean? You got to be in dire straits. I'm finna just really pop up back then, honestly. Word. Yeah, yeah see, I, one, I was one of them niggas. Yeah, see, I, I never had to deal with no shit like that. I nigga do pop ups, you feel me? Apparently, he, you know, you know why? I call, but I will pop right. up. That's what I'm saying. I, he about I, to say only suckers, only uh, only suckers uh, call. Uh, Real yeah. niggas pop up. Huh? I'm a pop up. I don't call before I come. <laughs> I only yeah. pop over. If on it's the something blue. I feel that comfortable doing, then mm. I'm I'm most likely just popping up. Yeah. Popping up, nigga, get your feelings hurt. Again, I never hey, really talk. That bitch I was always all sneak, all say, good enough to say. clean up right hey. before I get there. I envy you all. You know what I'm saying? You hear these bitches talking now on these little things? N niggas be on the side of the show. Barack, are you a munch? Do I eat it for lunch? Would, would you be considered a munch? <laughs> I wish we had so a... so hard on you. I don't really? fucking know. You know why? All he do is he be asking me hella questions. He be like, so Barack, you know so, hey, so if your girl tries to put her know. finger in your ass, is nah, you going to moan? Nah. Like, damn, dog. I, don't, I, 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 I never <laughs> ask you sexual questions like that. You asked me Vulgar if I was a questions munch. like that. You just I, I, asked me if I was a munch and my Rob. Because now he did. He did. He did. The, a renaissance man, these renaissance men now, because they consider they they look up to these titles. A renaissance, nigga. I got Googles for that, nigga. <laughs> All that. <laughs> we in technologies, nigga. I can't read, nigga. Well, hey, this nigga said, <laughs> a cell, hey, hey, cell phone got niggas, boy. Got I niggas feeling read. educated around this motherfucker and shit, nigga. Yeah. yeah nigga yeah. couldn't spell Kentucky. You were just like, listen to this. Say, nigga now, can't boy. spell Kentucky that fried chicken. Uh, 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 nigga, you can't spell that for real. <laughs> you can't spell that shit. Katankerous comes across the day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this shit, boy! You gotta love technology. This thing is stupid. <laughs> I got Google. This is stupid. The times we're in. Man, it's I the times we in, right? Hey, I be trying. I just want to hit the blunt with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, big homie. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> hey, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? This shit. Well, that's your... Out of these three artists right here, which one would you pick? One. You have to pick one. No, I don't. Now you gotta pick one. I refuse. <laughs> Nah. Refuse. Two of them from the yay. Representing that yay. Oh, uh, Refuse. Uh, I, I, or I'm looking at that board over there. Or, we got Grandmaster J. He was a gangster. We got me. we got ODB. He was he was a fool. And then we got Biggie over there. Damn. But see, no, no. That's unfair. Again, bro. Like, we started this whole conversation off me talking about my love letters to the Bay. So I'm not going to necessarily pick... One Bay artist over another Bay artist because right now I'm on my love letter to the Bay shit. Right What's now. your favorite Mac Dre song? What's your favorite Mac Dre song? Nigga, spit your favorite Mac Dre song. Spit your line. <laughs> it, it, it's it's your... actually my favorite Mac Dre song is actually the song that he did on the Doobie album, the first Doobie album. That's my favorite Mac Dre song. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got the green. Porter bit some game and served his pimping as a chaser. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. The eat it and mistreat it and you even pay you know? for it. He went back with that one. <laughs> Man, that's they right. eat it and mistreat it and they even pay for it. Mm -hmm. Like that line of a line. I'm on this thing mm -hmm. now. This year it's like, yo, I'm, I'm collecting lines. Like this year I'm like, yo, man, who's got the hottest motherfucking line of the year? Man, McGlover, who, man, hit your uh, favorite Mac Dre line. Mm. He got so many, dog. Hit you your favorite, man. Hit your spot. favorite. I ain't gonna say favorite. So just hit your favorite line, eh? Man. Fake ass Mac Dre fan, nigga. You ain't no <laughs> Mac Dre fan, nigga. You should <laughs> have been with Fake Dre fan? <laughs> nah, I fucks with Dre. Nigga, you should I one. couldn't tell you one. Go ahead, tell me one. I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you a good one. Tell, go ahead. You got one? Nah, I just said I couldn't tell you one. <laughs> 
because I'm always faded when I'm listening to him. So it's just like, bro, nigga like, got lines. I just that be sitting back. So many lines, bro. Yeah, because I be sitting back like, real bro. Mac. Hey, 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 I, let me, let me, man. Hey, these no paper having niggas is boosty. All at the function in that China mm-hmm. man coochie, <laughs> trying to get coochie and wine and dine chicks. Falling for it and going for mind tricks. I'm trying to find tricks that know the requirement and work towards a pimp's early retirement. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo! Man, nigga, man, boy. Woo! You nigga feel that? Say, in man. Yeah. Like, at That's that time, to the max. hella niggas was in the, in the club, nigga, with fake ass Gucci. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that nigga, he's no paper habit. Niggas is boosty. All at the function hey, and trying do, to make Do motherfuckers do that? Put Gucci all in their car seats and shit now? Yeah. Niggas still do that? Yeah. I ain't seen, really? it, I ain't seen it in a minute, yeah. but that train gonna come back. It's going so? on in the South. In the You're South. It shit. never stops in the South. Huh? You hear about some fake shit? Fake shit? Nah. Huh? Nah. You ain't about no when I had when I was young, you know what I'm saying? I, we, we was talking about cross Ruchi? colors and shit like that. <laughs> cross colors and shit like that, little shit like that. I they go to the swap meet. Fake. <laughs> they go get some used, major Buy damage. Some fake ass mm-hmm. Crenshaw t shirts for these bitches, and you got the Slauson or something, niggas. Damn. That is, man. Slauson. <laughs> Damn, man. I didn't wear J's growing up. Damn. Oh, mama's. I didn't either. I just didn't know that it was a thing to not. It, it, man, listen, I was the kid that nigga, man, <laughs> hey, look at his Nikes. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> look at nigga, man, on mama's. <laughs> nigga, no. look at his Nikes. Nigga. I heard that shit wearing Felaz one day. Because, like, in St. Louis, niggas should be talking hella shit. It's just shit. I walked in the school hey, it wearing Felaz. so many more shoes Jeez. other than Nikes, though, back then. You know, but they older, could all be made had, fun of equally. pumps, Reebok pumps. You had black top. Like, Reebok used to be, like, a real... Uh, Answers. Uh, uh, Hewins, Patrick Hewins. I don't know what kind of shoes Ewings. them was. Ewins, you know what I'm saying? Them was just nigga, Ewings. Elise. Elise. Nigga, Elise. Lee Cox Sportive. Nigga, nigga it was, it was so many was different there. shoes the busting. Asics? The, huh? Asics? Asics. Asics was cool when I was in high school still. Oh, mama's man. Sacconis. Sacconis. They had their little hard. run. New Balance. New Balance. Hush New Balance still going had they run. Puppies, cool. man. Wallabies. Wallaby. Oh, uh, niggas still, some niggas still wear a wallaby. You know what I mean? Damn. Damn. Nigga, that's when Timberlands nigga came on the scene. I didn't fuck with them B boots, none of that shit. Lugs. Niggas had Havana Joes. Lugs. I had a pair of Harley boots. Harley we boots. Nigga, the the Chop Toes. Nigga, Carl Kanai boots. Yeah, man. Say, nigga, back then. Now it's just Gucci. We wouldn't be really thinking about Gucci's and all that shit until my nah, Gucci, older. that that's that they, they was now in the eighties. It's that motherfuckers in high school. You know what I'm saying? That was 87, 88. Yeah, yeah, like nigga, yeah. like it just wanted just. <laughs> Like man, this, yeah. that was oh crazy. man, you man, you feel me? Yeah, if a nigga went to school now, boy, you. Just, I'm talking about high school. They go to damn. I'm, nigga, I'm like, saying like you went to school. Like think about it. Think about it. Let's be real though. Nigga, man, hey, my first Jordans came from jacking a nigga for his J's. So I couldn't even imagine going to school, and that nigga got on Gucci and all this shit. I had some broken in nigga lockers. It's nigga, why you just breaking the nigga lockers and shit like that, dude? Nigga Where the shit nigga to school nigga the next day? Like, nigga, I dare you to say something. Me so. and the homie oh, sharing the motherfuckers. They there too small. They hurting my feet, low key. my pair, nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nigga, Can't or motherfucker just don't say nothing. Nigga, I, nigga, I, tax, nigga, I taxed a bra. Nigga, a bra broke in my, in my locker. My PE locker, nigga, hit me for 20 bucks, nigga. Nigga, I taxed a nigga that whole fucking semester, nigga. I'm like, hey, look, check it out. Every Wednesday and Friday, you're going to bring me $20. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. That $20 was a lot. Nigga, that was, was a lot. Way. She fucked off the weekend, nigga. Damn. That was the, nigga, that was the nickel sack of weed. I'm sitting back like, bro, nigga, the wildest shit I did was buy drugs and chili and shit. Uh, so, uh, some Y'all stress. had a wild fucking high school. When I was around your big homie. Yeah. around <laughs> 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 your big homie. He pulled out some stress bag. at the after hours. <laughs> oh yeah, my damn. Damn. Oh, you got a pocket. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think put up a, oh damn, Lord, Jesus. Up a nickel bag. <laughs> <laughs> what it look like? Yeah, what it look like? <laughs> I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I just man, you exactly with the last time. <laughs> damn. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that. Yeah, we gonna leave it at that. All right. <laughs> anyway. Oh fuck, boy. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna have to catch fate. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna be hot. <laughs> You'll be getting a call in a few months. Oh yeah, hey, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, look, man, this shit, man, these niggas is over here burnt. Man, we over here talking shit. We got man, you know what I'm saying? We got it going with us going. This nigga McGlover, nigga, this nigga, 
Nigga, I thought this was your show. So, nigga, what's up, nigga? Mac, you and no one asked for here. this. Slacking. No one he's sitting over here just letting her on. He's just like, just letting us talk about whatever. Show. No one asked for this. Right? <laughs> 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 no I love it. <laughs> Oh, fuck you giving man. up an album for, nigga. We don't know who the fuck you is. Why not? Hey, hey y'all see about that shit, man, about the motherfucking uh, thing that came out, man, talking about your boy Kevin Gates. <laughs> what? Saying what niggas already knew? What? I didn't know yeah. niggas already knew that, but I was still sitting back like... Nigga actions, nigga. What, what, what it say? What is it? Man, the motherfucker, well, man, listen, man, listen, man, listen. Well, so here's the thing. Feather. I can't look at no nigga, but this nigga got this nigga... <laughs> <laughs> hanging out, trying to be talk some man shit to this all Apache I'm saying feather, is, man. Is, like, man. All I'm saying is, is yeah, whatever shit, you got to say man, about Kevin Gates, about, about yeah, business, if you would say it to his face, <laughs> I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Look, like, look at me, look at me. I'm just saying. Kevin Gates, come to the spot Soto, man. 1900 Airport Way You got to take man, the feather out before man. you hit the dough, my nigga. Yeah, come man. on, bro. You live out here. I know he does. That nigga, That's man. why I said yeah, what I said. Like, like, when they, like oh, my mom, nigga, if you would yeah. say it to his face, man, nigga, live out I'll here, respect man. it. If not, let the nigga live. I would say it to his face. I'm I know you would. I'm not what? testing your gangster. I'm just saying. Nah, I ain't about gangster. Yeah, what are they saying? What did they say? Yeah. What? About Kevin Gates. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, transgender just jumped on a fucking thing about him sucking a fake ass pussy and shit like that on him and shit like no, that. No, 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 no. Said, man, when a nigga, know it was a fake when a nigga looked up, I thought was like, that it, what? he sucked her dick. Sucked I, listen, listen. listen. But listen. she also, said, she also said that when he, when he found out he was, she was transgender, he didn't stop. And so that was confusing Cause I'm like, so, wouldn't so, that be obvious? But, but maybe it was a fake pussy. If that was, fake, the, he had a, she had a fake, whatever the fuck, had a fake pussy. Oh, nigga, that's weird. Never mind. <laughs> right. I'm so lost. So fake that's, pussy or real dick, either yeah, one is wait. a no for me, my nigga. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm just listen, keeping it real. I'm saying one is entirely <laughs> weirder listen, than the other. He, he man, the mother they're both said, wild. The One's wilder. Was, like the the smell or uh, something. It just wasn't. It was just. Looked up and was like, oh, yeah, I got a question to ask you. Oh, what's that? <laughs> you a transgender? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I went back, man, you know what I'm saying? I thought so. So it's like, man, you know what I mean? That's wild. I mean, at the end of it all, I don't really give a fuck. More yeah. business for me. It's not even my business, but to be honest. I'm you. not shocked. I'm not either. That's the first nigga I ever heard talk about licking somebody's ass. Right. Every bit, every man, hey, every bit. He man. influenced a generation when he said that. Hey, it was some. He influenced dude. a generation. I agree with you, bro. Right? <laughs> he let a he, generation. He stood on that shit. No, <laughs> that, that nigga stood on that, that shit. I'm stood on that shit. And my niggas lying, running around now stood like, on that shit. Yeah. with peanut butter and jelly, nigga, I'm still on that shit. Stood on nigga, that my shit. Mama, I knew niggas. You, 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 you almost kind of respect it, and that's why it's like, okay, I'm not surprised. He's a wild nigga. Continue to be wild, my nigga. Do you? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> pause again. Hard pause. I hit you with the boom, but the boondocks, baby. Oh, oh, now you on the pause. <coughs> first you put, see, what you do is first you put the peanut butter on, and then you put the jelly, and then this is what we call a Barack <laughs> asshole sandwich. <laughs> Jesus. Going, that's not the line peanut said. It's a oh, peanut man. butter and fuck asshole man. sandwich. Or some wild shit. I don't even fucking remember that. That shit's been a minute. Hey, what's your favorite gangster movie? Like, out of Godfathers, Goodfellas? I don't want to be so All of y'all. Godfather Part 2. Easy. Part 2? Part 2. Scarface. Scarface. Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. That's a good one. Nigga, on mama's nigga, I love that shit. Shaka. Shaka. Shaka is a good one. Shaka's Mad Max, he was a motherfucker. But nigga, Shaka Zulu, nigga. Shaka Zulu? Shaka Zulu, nigga, that's the best gangster movie. Yeah. That nigga, man, that nigga had them Europeans terrified, boy. La Shaka! Shaka! <laughs> mama's boy. Shaka! Man, that motherfucker music, man, come on and shit like that, man, you feel me? Boom, 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 boom. Remember Michael boom, Jackson boom. movie uh, video she used to come on regular TV? Man, that shit used to be an affair. <laughs> After what, remember Martin? Remember the time? <laughs> yeah. Nigga, remember the time came on right after Martin. Yep. 
And nigga, that shit, nigga, that was nigga, that was big, boy. On Fox, nigga, they was they promoted the shit out of that. Wait, the same video used to come on every day. Man, nah, nah, nah. It was the it world was the premiere. exclusive world premiere. Uh, and that nigga, that smart motherfucker sold it to Fox Eleven. Yeah. And you know, every black folk in America watched Martin. So he knew to put the motherfucking video right after Martin. And that nigga, man, everybody watching it. Doom, 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 doom. That was big. That he, was he made the stick doom. disappear and shit. That I remember like, wow. the doom, fact that I was wild by the fact that an artist could have a world premiere of a music video during primetime television. Who's better, Janet or Latoya? You don't know. what? Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nigga. Like, who's, hey, who's better than Tito. fucking taint or ass? I don't fuck. <laughs> Yo, I mean, you know, hey, and look. Oh, that was a wild ass, you know, uh, metaphor. Metaphor of my mama. I'm on some wild shit. I mean, hey, shit. I don't work for you. He's a wild boy. I'm tired. Y'all ain't, ain't a wild met, boy. Nigga. I say some wild shit. You know why I say wild shit? Because I like to see the reaction. The reaction tells me who I'm dealing with. If you react too much, I know your brain isn't quite there. If you react too little, I know you're fucking crazy. But if you can throw it back, I'll fuck with you. It really is. It's like, yo, because it's like, you got to understand, at the end of the day, none of it is that serious. Hey, if you was a pimp, what would your pimp name be? Nobody asked. <laughs> the P. Hey. Nobody asks the Nobody P. Asks the a, P. Nobody. Like, hey, like, repeat this line after me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where my money at, bitch? Hey, say it, man. I want to hear it, man. But say it aggressive, man. Say it with action. Say it with feeling. Say, say it with vigor. With flair. Let, let's, let me hear it. <laughs> Fuck you, daddy. You ain't shit. What? You, you fucking you me up. Always... I was going to say the line too, but I'm like, nah. Say it, man. Let me hear it, man. Hey, um, so I just noticed this week, um, you're a little bit short on um, your metrics. You, you, you haven't quite met the financial allowance that we set for this week. We said that you were going to meet $200 a day. You are at 152 I think we need to have a meeting. You would have a conversation about your performance. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Performance? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Do, yeah. I, do, do, do else, I need man? to use the hand? <laughs> I would prefer not to. I will. Yeah. If I have to. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put you on a performance action plan. Okay. Yeah. Performance action plan. Yeah. Um, if you do not meet the standards of the plan that we set, there will be consequences. You do not want them. Is that clear? And what would you yeah. do? What would you do if the, if the client didn't want to give her the money? Then what would you do? Ooh, yeah, we're gonna come up with an action plan of how to meet our financial needs in that situation. At two hundred dollars a day, how much is she charging the clients? Oh, you gotta no, go man. get the <laughs> nah, <you> gotta... <laughs> twenty in the front, forty in the back. <laughs> 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 He you killed the bit. We was in the bit. We was he rolling. Got, we he was got rolling. AC. He, was he got AC in his car, DJ. God damn. <laughs> he got you know the car. I did all this for this microphone. And you won't let me get in the car with AC. Oh shit. Hey man, I'm oh talking man. that square nigga shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk the he language. Asking you difficult questions. Don't worry about it, bro. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I just man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just nah, that's like what, fifteen dollars or something? She working all day and got two hundred? Nigga, I don't fucking know. No, I'm shit. saying you set the standard at two hundred, nigga. <laughs> That nigga questioning your pimping, Barack. Hold on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's going on, baby? Don't nobody ask. That's one woman. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Let's look at five. You like uh, six thousand dollars a month, huh? Stack. That nigga living off of oatmeal. 
I didn't think this metaphor through, all right? You know what I'm saying? What, 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 I, I, I don't know the best idea for this. Nah, you, you keep your hands off. You're doing the right thing, man. Right. Stay in your lane. Stay putting out that music nobody want to hear, man. Exactly. Hey, that's some motherfucking point. <laughs> that's the that's point. That's what I'm trying to tell niggas out here. Like, bro, all of you niggas is putting out records nobody wants to fucking listen to. Oh, fuck. So what's the formula? That was, hey. Where's the formula? <laughs> you know what the formula you is? You were saying earlier that you're about to show them or give them. It, it, you know what it is? You've been working for some months on giving them it, it, games. You know what it is? It's getting people to understand that you can buy streams, and that means a lot of different things. But you can't buy fans. So if nobody actually likes you or gives a shit about what you're doing, it really doesn't matter. And a lot of people confuse marketing campaigns and the things that come with those marketing campaigns and then the residual numbers after that with being successful. Oh, I got 100,000 streams. And do you have 100,000 fans? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. So a lot of what I'm doing is more like a proof positive of like, hey, they're telling us every single month. They changed all the algorithms in the last three months on all the major social media platforms, including Spotify, they're telling you, this is what you need to do to be successful here. And what happens is, is that a lot of artists, we miss that because we're just making the fucking music. We're not thinking about this type of shit. And what we don't realize is, is that nobody gives a fuck. There's thousands of dollars, thousands of songs being uploaded a week. Thousands. Thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Streaming isn't where you're going to make your money. Stop it. So, like, I've been putting out music for five years. Before I set up my label, I made a point to learn about publishing, learn let, about let copyright. Stop. You say streaming is not where you're going to make the money? No, you're no? not. You need, if you, Why is everybody streaming, stream, 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 stream? Because stream, 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 stream. it's numbers. It's just it's, numbers. It's, it's something you can see. That's it. You know that's what I mean? That's all like, probability. That, that, that's all it is. All. Oh, you got 200,000 streams. Mm -hmm. Big fucking deal. There's people that stream a million streams a month that can't go sell out Showbox Soto. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They can't sell out a 200-person cap venue. Right. So it's no like, one where's the longevity in that, you know? It, it's not as... It's like the, 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 there, is, there is a misinterpretation of art happening right now in front of our eyes. Artists miss it because we're so focused on, I'm going to be the best rapper ever. <clears throat> no, the fuck you're not. So if you don't get paid <laughs> yeah. from the streams, where do you get paid off of? So you're going to get paid off of your brand deals, how you brand yourself. You're going to get paid off of touring. You're going to get paid off of your Merch. business model. Merch, sync licensing. No, those are the products. Like. It's, it, it is your business model. In your business model, you may have merch, you may have sync licensing. You may you may not have merch and you will have sync licensing. You need to figure out your niche, what you want to sell, how valuable is it to you? Because no, you don't have to go get fucked by Diddy anymore to have a platinum record. But a platinum record isn't going to make you that much money. So, you have to understand that as a person who makes music, you're a content creator now. Sorry. It's not the 95. It's, it's all falling under content creator now. That's huh? what you are. And it sucks. And so that's kind of the, the, the thing that I'm telling people with this marketing campaign. It's just like, hey, man, I'm putting out this record that nobody asked for just to build up some fucking sync licensing catalog. I don't give a fuck if no one streams it because I'm going to sync license it and make more money. Now, it's going to take a year to get to that. But in that time, I've built up more. Why are you going to make money just by sync licensing? Because I don't have to deal with extra songwriters and extra licensing if I'm using a vocalist. And with sync licensing, look at the streaming uh, the streaming world right now. Warner Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Netflix, Sony, all these companies are just making TV shows. Well, they need music for all the intros, for all these TV shows. You gotta look at the trend right now too. You see these people who are buying catalogs of other people. There's a reason for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a reason these catalogs are being sold for two hundred million. Because down the road, you don't they're know gonna what, be worth ten times that. You don't know what stuff is in development that hasn't come out yet. Yeah. 
Like the the hands that you can put, you know, the pots that you can put your hands in now by just having a different business model. It's like it it sucks as a person who likes to make music because like, yo, I want everyone to hear the record because I believe in the record. But I have to understand that just because people hear it doesn't mean they're listening. You know, it's it's a tough thing to feel and to sell to somebody that's, hey, bro, yeah, I know you like that record you just made. Nobody gives a fuck. So you need to learn how to persevere beyond that. So you just got to keep hitting the motherfucker upside the head with music that they don't want to hear until they want to hear it. Somebody wants it's to hear like it. It's kind of like reverse psychology. Exactly. Somebody wants to hear it. Right. You just don't know who that person is yet because you want your friends to like you. And that's that shit that I be looking at with a lot of artists. Like, yo, you're more concerned about your homies. You want the outsiders to fuck, fuck you. You you made that record because you heard it on the radio and your friends like it. So now you want to make a record like that. You got to get these cats out of that mindset. And I think it's time for producers to really talk their shit because we already know this shit. Yeah. We want artists to understand. Like, yeah, I'm putting these beats out that you think are beats. You don't know it's production. You sound like a new man. Damn right I am. Shit, man. You sound reflect, refresh. You know what I'm just saying? You know, sitting in the shower, uh, you know, cold shower with a bottle of whiskey can do that to you. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm fucking with you. Calm down. <laughs> You're a whiskey drinker? Seasonally. Seasonally. Wild turkey? Never. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. Yeah, man, I'm mostly a tequila guy. I went through a whiskey phase once. Yeah, you go through whiskey. You go through phases with whiskey. Mostly stick with tequila, though. You know what I'm saying? Rob, you drink? Uh, I'm no. sober. That's cool. Fifteen months. Oh, this, that's beautiful. Yeah. This nigga had a 300 milligram. You ever get any urges? Still, or you be like, yeah. Uh, I'll drink like NA beers. Yeah. And shit, cause I like beer, the taste of beer. But nah, my life changed and got better tenfold when I stopped drinking. What would you give to? Uh, a watcher or a subscriber, some game to them if they were struggling with something like that, you know what I mean? The, the daily to stand sober. What kind of advice would Jim would you get him out there? Find something to keep your mind busy. Uh, whether it be going to the gym, finding a new hobby, just something where you're not just sitting there, you know, with the urge to drink. Yeah. Or porn. You can just watch lots of porn. That's an addiction also, too, that I think a lot of people deal with. Exactly. Yeah. You replace the alcohol with the porn and then bang, life gets worse. I'm fucking with you. It's a joke. Don't do that, actually. Yeah. I would say just be honest with yourself, too. I yeah. think a lot of people are alcoholics and they won't admit it, you know? Um, yeah. Like that, man. Well, shit. At the spot, on the spot, macking with McGlover, you never know what kind of gems you'll get. You might have saved somebody's life right there, you know what I mean? Shout out to them. Yeah, but before you jump off the bridge, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you just got to do it that way. You know what I mean? But, uh. Shit. <laughs> That's what man. Stop playing. Take a long walk over a short bridge. You know what? This is the fucked up part, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we, we laughing and everything, man. But, hey, man. You motherfuckers got to stop killing every man they trust. Or, you know what? The motherfuckers that want to walk in these schools and shoot the schools up, they need man. to kill themselves right before they do it. That's some G shit. That's what I want to tell all these mass shooters. You want to know some G shit? They could just take that frustration out on so many other things if they want to just get active like that instead of some little kids. That's you know? They wouldn't do it to the bitch. <laughs> Going on for the night. I got a shower I'm going to get into. It's going to be cold. There will be whiskey. Yeah. Like that cold water with the hot water ain't working? No, no. The cold water keeps you from blacking out. Again, I'm still fucking joking. That's the fucked up part. Yeah. I think that advice was for Barack then. Huh? <laughs> when's, when's the last time you blacked out, bro? <laughs> Can you remember? Talk to him, Rob. Talk to him. Actually, actually, funny story. All right. So here's what happened. Here's what happened. This was like... A month and a half ago, right? So I had these glasses for like two weeks, right? All I know is, is I woke up one morning, right? It was a Sunday morning. I wake up in bed, face down. I'm like, oh, okay. Fuck am I? Go to the living room. I'm like, 
Where's my glasses? Because I have my eyes, it's bad enough where if I take my glasses off, I can't see my glasses. Mm-hmm. I find the glasses all twisted up and mangled, and I'm like, the fuck's going on with this shit? Grab the glasses, try to untwist them, really can't fucking do that shit. I notice that the lens is missing, and I'm like, oh, now that's a fucking problem. That did it. <laughs> but here's the fucked up thing. I had a bruise right here on my eye. Not the fucking slightest clue. And that was a month and a half ago? Yeah. But you still had your money? I was at home. You were fighting demons for real. Damn. No, nigga, I was at home. It was like, I'm just, whatever, right? So, anywho, I find the lens, go to a spot, get the glasses repaired. No damage or whatever. But that was one of those moments where I was just like, maybe you should drink a little bit less. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just touch. But in all honesty, I kind of did from there a little bit. Lost a good bit of weight, you know. I mean, I've been really kind of on that journey for a little bit, of, little bit of time. Not really for anything other than just like finances, you know, because it's important to like have your money right. Like you can't be fucking out partying and having a good time and your money not right. Like that's just stupid, you know what I mean? And it's just getting real expensive in Seattle, so it's just like, bro, you gotta fucking button that shit up just so you can handle your business out here. Where'd you like to party at in Seattle? Nowhere. I don't uh, I don't party anywhere. That's the thing. Like the thing about me at this point in time in life is that I'm probably the most stable I've ever been. Because when I was out in Cali, I'm ripping and fucking running. I'm up two, three days in a row. I'm fucking going from here and there. I'm making beats two in days bay in a row. Area? I'm on that bay area. That bay bridge. Shit. Smacking. Wow. Wow. Hey. You man. you moving? Hey, we in the car. With the homie, with the other half of Sound Society, I'm sitting back like, Asia, man, you got to stop drunk driving. He's just like, I know, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now, I'm like, oh, I'm calm now. I'm calm enough to not want the extra shit. Which is part of how I'm able to maneuver and shit now. I think but I just learned, too, like, very few good things come from alcohol. Well, it's alcohol and drugs. When you really, yeah, yeah for yeah, yeah. me, yeah, like alcohol is the least of my concerns, but it's all of it, mm-hmm. all of it together, all of it in public, all of it with like just the consequences that come from it. It's yeah, just like, uh, a lot of kids is made because of alcohol too. Yeah, Ty got you. Yeah.